really, wow, okay. Somewhat, um, I've never, this is kind of really um, asymmetric, but the, this is the ovary right there, and right here is the ovary. The oviduct is really small. If you look at the picture here, see this little loopy doop? So the oviduct is this li is really small. It's just this little connection right here, with uh, from where the ovary is, uh, and then the uterus starts obviously right here because you have a kitten in there. So let somebody take that, and I want you to cut, use scissors and cut really superficially so we don't um, disturb this yet. Did you want to do that? Okay. <laughs> where are the scissors? Where are the scissors? Do you not have them? There, this little job, and then the oviduct is, see this little, you can see it right here, whoop, this little bit right there, okay. rather short. Do you want to do this side or this side? Either one doesn't matter. Let's do this side first. Then. Should I cut on the inside? Uh, just pinch, what you want to do is pinch to, you're just cutting the, you're just cutting the uterus itself, you're not cutting it in the embryo. Santa. So what you want to do is work that out, peel, peel back the uterus. Okay, so this is the this this band is the placenta. Okay, you can where see is the, that other thing you were talking this about? Is, so then you can see the face. This is basically the face right here. Well, actually, which end is it? And this is the head. So th so this is the placenta, and it's going all the way around. Is the placenta not actually attached? Oh yeah. Well, it's it's come away to some degree, okay. but it, it, there there is. Um, and this is where it connects to the. Over, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. So the two coming out here. So that's the end of where are we at right here? The yeah. The end of the ovary and then uh, the oviduct and then the start of the uterus. So then placenta, chorioentoic membrane, chorioentoic membrane, and open this up. So you can see here the embryo is inside. Now I've torn away. This is the chorioentelic membrane. Now the, the uh, embryo is wrapped in the amnion. Mm -hmm. And if you see the connection, cut this away. You can see where I got a little buck teeth. <laughs> see the umbilicus right there? Where? Um. He's wrapping off and coming right into the belly button. Are there vessels connecting the placenta to the uterus? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's what keeping. So it's, why did it why did it come off so easily? It's a good question. I don't know. I think it's the, I think the fixation probably screws it up. So. But it's high. It, it, it's it's well vascularized. I mean, this is what's okay. keeping it alive. But you can see that. So here's the, the uterus. Uh, excuse me, the placenta that wraps this guy. When kittens come out, are they still attached to their umbilical cords, or is it? Did it I've never seen kittens. I've never seen kittens give birth. Has anyone seen that? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. I mean, usually, usually you, uh, the, usually the mother will chew it free. Yeah, they have. They have. They have their belly. Like, I mean, they have um, the placenta. The placenta.